Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. The RTX series of GPUs have been officially revealed. Along with that, we've got some early pricing details. We've got details on the Founders Edition pricing. And then we also have a general idea of what the prices should normalize into. If you guys don't know, the Founders Edition GPUs are a little bit more expensive compared to when the partners get out their GPUs. Honestly, it all depends to how the market reacts to this GPU. But NVIDIA is pretty aware of the fact that these GPUs are going to be super hyped up because they are being released at a super expensive price so i'll be going over that we got a new battle royale game on steam that's just been listed and it's based off a pretty known ip an ip that's getting a sequel next year an ip that i've always talked pretty positively about we knew this game was coming but it kind of showed up on steam out of nowhere so want to talk a little bit about that and also we got the first gameplay of torchlight frontiers i talked about this a few weeks ago and, and we were scared it wasn't going to be traditional torchlight but it looks pretty damn good so i'll be giving that a mention at the end of this video as well first of all well, let's talk about the 2080 ti 2080 and 2070 some pricing nvidia just had their presentation where they showed off the new gpus they're saying it's the biggest leap in performance in the history of the company i'll be the judge of that when these gpus actually release and we get more information on them but you also have to add in the fact that this is probably the biggest leap in pricing as well so don't try to trick me with that because the 2080 ti the founder's edition of that gpu is 1200 dollars. that's quite expensive for a 2080 ti i was hoping it would be closer to the eight or nine hundred dollars range i guess i was being pretty hopeful when i said that i was hoping this gpu was going to be 700 dollars yeah 1200 dollars for the founders edition that's quite expensive however there is the rtx 2080 the vanilla 2080 founders edition of that will be 800 dollars so if you knock off 100 dollars from when the regular models come out 700 dollars for a 2080 is still rather expensive and then there is the RTX 2070, which isn't even available to pre-order right now. That is available for 599 flat. That's going to be coming after the 2080 and the 2080 Ti. But man, those are some expensive GPUs. Does that mean the 2060, which is generally seen as a mid-range video card, is going to be $400? Because you would think it would be $200 less than the 2070. The 2070 is $200 less than the 2080. A 2060 that releases at $400 is kind of excessive. But if that's the Founders Edition, then it settles at like $350. Maybe that's not all too bad. I wonder, however, is the hype going to sustain with this pricing? Because if they are released at this price point, then they sell out anyway because the demand is just that big. And then they're marked up at an even higher price on eBay. And then various retailers and e-tailers are marking up the prices because they know people want them. Well, that is just going to be absolute disaster once again. So maybe getting a 10 series GPU right now isn't that bad of an idea. Hey, you can get the GPU right now. 1080s, you can find them for around $350. Of course, the 20. 80 is significantly better than the 1080 but still $800 is also a significant more amount to pay than $350 but the 1080 looking like a pretty good option right now I do imagine that the 2060 will be around 1080 performance and if that's released at $400 at the founders edition and then it drops down to 350 then that's actually not too bad and I do imagine the 2060 will be at the 1080s level or maybe a little above maybe a little below we'll see on that that's just my speculation at this point but if you are planning on picking up a 2080 20 ADTI or even a 2070, prepare to pull out the wallet because it is going to be very, very expensive. Now, that is the pre order over at NVIDIA's website. During the presentation itself, they did list the entire NVIDIA RTX family and they listed the RTX 2080 Ti starting from $999. Now, are any of the 2080 Ti's going to be $1,000 flat? I doubt it. But hey, $1,000 for a 2080 Ti, that's definitely better than $1,200. They're saying that the 2080 will be from $699. That's $100 cheaper than the Founders Edition and then the 2070 will be at from 499 so that's still a little bit more expensive than i believe what the 1070 1080 and the 1080 ti were released at i remember the 1070 being regularly available for 400 maybe a little bit more but they're saying the 2070 is going to start at 500 that means it's probably going to be a little bit more expensive than 500 that goes for the 2080 and the 2080 ti it's usually going to be a little bit more expensive so just bear all of that in mind right now again you can pre-order it on nvidia's official website 2080 ti is 1200 2080 is 800 2070 you cannot get that yet but that pre-order should be opening in the next month or so so enough talk about that i also wanted to cover a couple of other things dying light bad blood yes a brand new dying light battle royale game this is something i knew about for quite a while 
Kind of wanted to ignore it a little bit because I love Dying Light as an IP. I'm so excited for Dying Light 2 that I couldn't believe that this was one of the games that's making a transition to Battle Royale. However, when you think about the parkour gameplay mechanics of Dying Light, hey, a Battle Royale game doesn't sound all too terrible. As far as like what games can make a transition to a cool Battle Royale game, Dying Light is one of those that I could see that, but Dying Light has never been known as a multiplayer experience. You can right now sign up for the early testing and the game will be released as an early access title for 1999, but when it's officially released it will be absolutely free to play so that is something to know really interested to hear what you guys think about dying light bad blood i have recommended dying light to you guys so many times so i know a lot of you guys have played dying light based on my judgment and from what i read in the comments it seems like a lot of you guys did enjoy that game the following enhanced edition of dying light is so so good and dying light 2 is shaping up to be much better than the first game and i'm so excited for that that game is coming in 2019 but also dying light bad blood is set for a release in 2018 honestly speaking i don't don't think this is going to gain any traction. I think this is going to be a Battle Royale game that's going to be released. It's going to be supported for a little bit. It's going to be seen as a commercial flop and then it'll quietly go away because not too many people are even talking about it at this point. And this, I feel, is one of those Battle Royale games that just seeing it, I really wish it didn't happen. And Dying Light is a franchise that attracts more of a hardcore gaming audience. I just don't foresee this game being that big, but hey, I might be wrong. And lastly, Torchlight Frontiers has gotten its first gameplay reveal. I guess this was an early Gamescom reveal. However, if you don't know, Torchlight Frontiers is being done by a new studio, but from what I'm seeing based on this trailer, it is looking pretty good. I love Torchlight 1 and 2, and, and those were two games that were very popular around the time that they came out, but they never had that long-lasting traction. Like, Diablo is a franchise that people still talk about to this day. Torchlight was big when it was released, but Torchlight Frontiers could do a lot of good for the series. Also, the game is being released on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, I feel like this is a game that could really do it with a Switch release. So Torchlight Frontiers, I feel, could make some impact over there. But for now, PC, PS4, Xbox One. That is going to conclude this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the new RTX line of GPUs? $1,200, $800, $600. Yes, very expensive. But when these GPUs actually release, when the early adopters get their hands on them and spend crazy amounts of money, and then the rest of us want to get it, hopefully the pricing does settle down. Dying Light is getting a new Battle Royale title. Dying Light Bad Blood. What do you think of that? Are you disappointed that Dying Light is getting that Battle Royale tag attached to it? Or are you okay with it? Is it a game you're going to check out? Again, you can sign up to try it out early right now. And Torchlight Frontiers has had its gameplay reveal. Looks like your traditional Torchlight. It's shaping up pretty nicely. Hopefully, it turns out pretty well because Torchlight is one of those forgotten about franchises that I would love to see make a comeback. That's going to conclude this one. If you guys have a request for a future video, leave it in the comment section down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.